as we showed you guys, the itinerary that we took it started with Passo della Cisa, and we knew that after Cisa we would take the Via Francigena, which started basically right now. Yeah, uh, this is a pilgrimage um, route that actually leaves from Canterbury, Canterbury in the <laughs> in, in United Kingdom, uh, and goes up to Puglia where people back in the days, like 1,000 years ago, they used to take a boat to go to the Terra Santa, which Jerusalem. is Jerusalem. Yeah. yeah. Um, nowadays it only goes, it stops in Rome, and we are taking it like from, actually from Parma you can take it, but like we, we took a different route, why? Yes, because the, the Passo della <laughs> Cisa and the Via Francigena, they overlap each other. So we took the, the, the Strada della Cisa, but you can do the Via Francigena when you are doing the Chisa. So we, instead of taking the Francigena and going to Tuscany, we went to Passo della Chisa all the way to Liguria. And then from here, now in San Gimignano, we crossed back to Via Francigena, yeah. which is similar to Santiago de Compostela. It's one of the, one of the pilgrimage... Um, routes around the world. Exactly. The most famous ones, no? It's some Santiago, this Via Francigena, and there is another one in Jerusalem. Um, exactly. And the, the cool thing that we found out here in San Gimignano is that you can do actually a passport. A pilgrim passport and this is awesome because uh, this gives you some rights and you can stamp like in the places that we go so you, right now we are in San Gimignano and you have a stamp from San Gimignano and then you know as you go along the road and you stop in the place that they give the stamp so you know you have your pilgrim ID. Yeah, and it gives you discount in many places along the way. So the hotel we are staying, for example, we got a chalet and uh, it, it costs like 40 euros, but with this it costs 22. So it's really worth it. And uh, we heard that there are also another couple of accommodations along the way, one including in Rome, which you can stay for free if you're doing the, um, the Via Francigena. Exactly. So. That's a definitely a good advice. It only costs five euros. You have to do. Uh, you only have to fill up a paper telling a little bit of uh, where did you start your route, where you're gonna end, and why you're doing it, and pay the five euros, and they give you. Yeah, it's quite simple. You just go to the tourist information anywhere, like in in any city in, during the the Francigen route, and then you don't even have to show any ID. You just fill up the document, pay five euros, and you get your pilgrim ID. This is still the first seconds we haven't, so we need to see if it's worth it or not, maybe we'll Yeah, because you're doing by bike, you're not doing, you're not walking. So because you're doing by bike, um, we won't have many stops as you do if you walk. So if, you, if you're walking during the Via Francigena, oh, it's yes. definitely worth it because you pay a lot less. Uh, as for us, we have our own tent and you're staying in less places. I don't know, it's still, it's still, I think it's still worth it because yeah. today you already have, we already had the 20, 20 euros discount on a place per that we day. stayed. We're staying for two days, so it's 40 euros. Exactly, yeah, just today it. is already worth it having it, you know. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so if you, if you like, if you're going around Tuscany and you know, going a few seats around it, even if you're not doing the Via Francigena, you, you can do it. You just go to the place, get your ID, your pilgrim ID, and you have some discounts in a few places, you know, places that are along the route. So then you can have some discounts. I think the rain is coming back, so you might as well start exploring the city. Ice cream. According to them, themselves, they're the best gelato in the world. A couple of hours in San Gimignano and we've seen a few things. 
and uh, I think it's an offer. Huh? Yeah, a couple of hours, like uh, one afternoon, it's definitely enough because you know it's quite small and then um, very touristy. So there yeah. isn't anything like uh, original or you know like. Well, it is local. quite original, but you know it's it's little. So yeah. in one afternoon, you you do all. Yeah. Now we're gonna do the second best thing to do here, I think, after walking around which is eating. <laughs> so they have their famous wine, which is the Vernecchio. Vernecchia. Vernecchia. It's written somewhere in the screen, <laughs> just so in case. You have to try that. If you have the opportunity to try the saffron as well, they are famous for the saffron. Yeah. They used to pay their soldiers with saffron. Uh, is it? I just heard the guide say that. Uh, <laughs> no, but I read that Sneaking well. on tours. <laughs> So yeah, um, but it's a cool town. I love yeah. especially the view. The that salami, you have from salami is nice. No, the, the salami. salami is nice. yeah, they do like a java, javali salami, apparently. Yes. Yeah. We need to try, and we're gonna tell after. Yeah, but one afternoon, definitely enough. <laughs>